Every experienced guitar player knows that tube amps always sound their best at loud volumes. Do you ever wish that you could get that saturated tube tone, but at a more bedroom friendly level? Have I got an inexpensive solution for you. Today, we check out the Speaker Soak from Carl's Custom Guitars. times when I'm sitting in here uh, and I just want to you know I just want to sit down and play guitar for a little bit um, you know and, and sometimes I just you know I want to jam out a little bit and I want to uh, you know I want to play around with some effects pedals and uh, you know and just just sit and play guitar like many of us do I always want it to sound cool because you know I'm always a lot more inspired to play guitar when I like what I'm playing with a tube amp turn you know turned down to bedroom levels you lose so much of that uh, you know, so so much of that, you know, that warmth and that, uh, 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 you know, just, you know, that, you know, this stuff that just makes tube amps cool. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play for just a minute uh, without the Carl's Custom Guitars attenuator in the uh, in the speaker line at all. So this is just straight tube amp uh, turned up to a volume that I like and. Um, you know, and getting a sound that I like that I think is cool. So, and I'll play around with some pedals and stuff like that. So, Okay, uh, I have now installed the uh, attenuator into the uh, into the speaker line between the the guitar head and the speaker cabinet. Uh, it's a passive attenuator, by the way, so it doesn't require a power supply of any kind. Uh, just one speaker cable in, another speaker cable out. That's it. Uh, one final note: I did not adjust the gain levels on the uh, audio recorder at all. So there has been the only adjustment that has been made from what you just heard to what you're about to hear is the attenuator in place.
this is a very is a a, a uh, an inexpensive attenuator really um, and you can they come in both a uh, 8 and 16 ohm varieties this is the 16 ohm version because that seismic audio cabinet is it, it has two 8 ohm speakers which if you do the math on it tells you that it's actually a 4 ohm cabinet but it's actually wired for 16 ohms so which is why I've been using the 16 ohm uh, attenuator on that cabinet it uh, you know these things cost about 50 bucks and uh, you can get them on Amazon and uh, I've seen them on reverb you know for between 40 and fifty dollars you know they, they seem you know they seem to work great they work great at least in my environment and they see and they uh, they also work from the manufacturer they work uh, for amps uh, any amp up to any tube amp any amp really uh, up to 60 watts uh, so you know the amp that I'm I'm demoing here is about 20 watts uh, so it's more you know this is more than enough for uh, for my purposes here very simple to use this goes in the cable line speaker cable line from your guitar head to your speaker cabinet so you'll run one cable from the uh, uh, from the guitar head into this and another one out of this into the cabinet um, and what basically essentially what it does is it absorbs some of the power some of the uh, you know some of the volume um, so that you can essentially maintain that that same uh, saturated tube tone but play it at a lower level and uh, you know I think from the you know from the the demos that I've done of it you know it's 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 very usable um, you know and now I can play you know at least a couple of my amps uh, late at night I guarantee you had my wife been home while I was shooting this video she would have killed me for playing as loud as I was uh, prior to turning this on so uh, you know, very very simple to use. You know, the one knob on there uh, is is related to audio level as opposed to attenuation level. Um, you know, so the audio level is just like a volume knob. You know, all the way down that's your minimum volume. All the way up is your maximum volume. Uh, maximum volume obviously being no attenuation. Minimum volume being maximum attenuation. Um, you know, very very useful for you know for fifty bucks. Um, you know, I really, I think I'm, I'm probably going to try to, uh, I'm probably, I'm definitely going to pick up another one, uh, you know, because I could really use an eight ohm version to run into, uh, um, maybe even a couple of eight ohm versions to run into that Marshall cabinet, um, because I've got two heads running stereo into that at eight ohms a piece, as opposed to, you now when I run the Marshall cabinet by itself, then I'm running that at 16 ohms, in which case this will work fine. But if I'm running it at eight ohms, I need the other one. You always want to make sure and match up your your resistance levels, uh, otherwise things begin to blow up, and that's no fun. When I ordered it, it came. Uh, you know, well, I, I didn't order it. This was this was actually a birthday gift uh, here recently, and I'm pretty sure it came just like this. <laughs> uh, you know, because I, I know she ordered it new, and I didn't get a box with it, so. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I don't know, I'm assuming it came just like this. Maybe if I order another one, I'll, I'll update this video down the road. But uh, to my knowledge, it came just like this. Carl's Custom Guitars is a teeny tiny uh, little company. The reason why I decided to do this video is because I was looking for, I, I had seen them online, I wanted to research them, and I was looking for a, for a video on YouTube, and I couldn't find any of them that I really liked, including the one from, unfortunately, from the manufacturer. So, um, you know, hopefully... You know, maybe they'll see this and they will, uh, you know, like what I've uh, like what I've said about it, and you know, and maybe they'll, you know, maybe they'll reference reference us a time or two. Uh, but uh, you know, overall, you know, for fifty bucks, you know, fantastic product. It's it's very, I mean, it's built like a tank. Uh, very sturdy. That knob on there is uh, is real well is is you know is real tight, real sturdy. And I know there's not a whole lot going on on the inside of this thing it's a pretty basic device but granted it is built very very solidly very very well i kind of like that old rustic metal box that they used on it you know so that uh you know if it takes a beating somewhere down the road you know at some point you're never going to notice <laughs> but yeah very very handy now i can finally crank up a couple of my amps and, and practice at night without uh upsetting my wife and uh, the neighbors and all that kind of stuff so uh you know and that's that's precisely what this is designed to do you know, for more product info, I will have any and all applicable links down in the description below, including the, the uh, a link to the manufacturer's website, uh, as well as a link or uh, or two, if I can find it, of where you can purchase these online. 
please make sure and check out any, uh, any of the other methods that you can contact me via Twitter, Facebook, um, and also uh, the, uh, the new Patreon, Patreon page. Uh, again, all of those links will be listed down in the description below. And last but not least, the most important link of all uh, is the link to my good friends at Share the Music. Uh, if you would like to learn about the best way to give the gift of music, being that this is the Christmas season, uh, there is no better way to do so than through those folks. If you uh, if you know somebody that uh, you know that would like to get involved in music and may not have the means to be able to to be able to do that. Uh, those are people that can help. They're a great organization, and uh, uh, and I support them with all my heart. So please check them out on Facebook. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please, please stay tuned. More videos about more really cool gear coming very, very soon.